So this is a heat of the different level of eights. Schoolboy eights, the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup, and we have this fantastic crew, Shiplake College, on the Buckinghamshire Station. That's the Ireland side. And they are racing the boys of Reading Bluecoat School and Reading Bluecoat on the Berkshire Station, which is where all the people are lined up. And uh, it's a real achievement for Reading Bluecoat to be here through in the regatta to be here full stop, but then to qualify for the second day. They beat Boston College yesterday. And, uh, Had a really good race yesterday beating Boston College. Beat them by teams from quarter length uh, in a really good time, but this hit maker is really good. They perform really uh, excellently over the, over the winter, and, and although this event is close this year, and there are four or five crews in the event that could win, I think it's probably one of my favourites. You're, you're looking at one of the potential winners closest to the camera, Shiplake College. They're leading by about uh, just under a length. There's a camera parallax because the our launch is going level with the stern of that Reading Bluecoat boat, who are the sort of trailing boat, as you were. So you, you can't quite see just what the lead is accurately, but it, I guess to a season, to a practice eye, it's just about a length and going almost to clear water for the boys from Shiplake College. And if you're watching this in Shiplake College or indeed in Reading Bluecoat School, we hope you feel very proud of seeing the crews drive off the start here we join the race further down around about the mile mark ship lake college well into their comfortable rhythm now they've done the damage and they will know that uh, reading bluecoat school well ship lake did 148 to the barrier yesterday jim and reading bluecoat did 155 so that's a seven second difference at the barrier so it really is a bit of a mismatch in terms of the quality of the oarsmen in these two eights ship lake were only two seconds outside the record yesterday and that's a couple of the other favourites of the event were, were similarly close, but their, their size and their experience is starting to show now. The way that boat's moving, they can just enjoy that sitting uh, on their lead over a, a local rivals, Reading, obviously right on the stretch, just down from Ship Lake. Yeah, so it's a bit of a local matchup, and uh, I think it'd be nice to give a name check to the Ship Lake crew, wouldn't it? Tom Borat, the bowman, the 17-year-old, rode with Walton Rowing Club last year. He's closest to you in the Ship Lake boat. Dickie Adams, 18 years of age, in two seat just in front of him. Tall man, Tom Fox, long body anyway. Ship Lake just go through that camera position. Ben Brockway, Sebastian Hortland Marks, Don Brown, Rhys Ash, and Sidney Baran. Cox, Jacob Kirby. There ben Brockway, I particularly like the way he rose too. He used to row with his dad, actually. It reminds me of his dad. He's, very, <laughs> he's the third generation of Brockways involved in the sport. It's probably, and they're the ones I know. I might go back further, I don't know. Um, the boat named after the outgoing headmaster. Yeah, we pointed that out yesterday, Greg Davis, and uh, a real friend to rowing at Shiplake College. And Shiplake have this real sort of uh, verb to be identified as, you know, one of the top rowing schools in the country. And they certainly, you know, took that uh, honour at the school's head this year. And, and um, it's not just sp uh, rowing. I know the head of sport, Mark Griffiths, he's really keen to develop everything kind of although he's a rugby player himself he's yeah. assimilated into the, rowing and he loves that is, and everything else it, it, it's a great you know it's a great ambition to actually have all round at sport and everything yeah. but the fact of the matter is you know if you're going to be good at rowing you've got to prioritize it and uh, well, it's think, good for rowers to have an introduction to the sports and mix around as well because it helps with your focus yeah absolutely the boys do get to do different sports i think in year nine then uh, there's a little bit of a focus and they come through into the best ones get into rowing and uh, Give that a try, and it's a very successful policy for Shiplake. Coming up to the finish line, just about four or five strokes to go. Shiplake College on the left of your screen, in the heat of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. The rivals from Reading Bluecoat School at the top of the picture. Shiplake College win this heat of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. And they will go on to race, I think, St. Joseph's we saw on that close race. They beat Reading Bluecoat School, Shiplake College, the winners.